Coordinate geometry. We are going to continue with the length of a line segment. You will find this on page 301 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Three points are point A, B and C. Find the lengths of AB, BC and AC. So basically I just write the two points, I number it one and two, it's always good to write to do that so that you don't get confused with the substitution. Then I substitute and I get the square root of 13. You can leave it like this. You do not have to make it to three significant figures. Okay, then the next one, um, um, BC, I do exactly the same and I get square root of 52. And then the next one, AC, A and C point one and two or two and one, I think just because I called it already two, but it doesn't matter. As long as if this is two, then this must also be two. And if this is one, then this, but don't make it two, one or one, two, that's incorrect. Do your substitution. Don't forget if the twos are in front that uh, every time I was putting the twos, you can put the ones also in front, but again, don't mix it. And then the next one, show that ABC lies on a straight line. So ABC is on a straight line. The reason why, if you take square root 13 and you add square root 52 and you sub subtract, okay, so let's just see, this was AB, this was BC, and if you subtract, you get zero, or actually, I think it's, you can do it like this, but I think it's better this statement. To say AB plus BC will be equal to AC, so that will mean that it will be on a straight line. So I think this statement will be more clear to the students. Okay, let's look at the next one. I want you to do try note two. Uh, you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. Three points P, Q, and R. Uh, find the lengths of P, Q. Okay, so this is going to be a long one again, because I have to write. So, make it P, Q. Okay. Um, I think we let's just restart that one. I'm rather going to make it like this. P. Um, is negative 4 and 3 and Q is negative 2 and 2. So if I want to find PQ and don't forget this is X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2 because I decided this is point 1 and this will then be point 2. Then don't forget, I'm just going to make my square root, and then the formula is always, okay, let's do it like we usually do it. Difference in x squared plus, and now start also with 2, because you started with 2 there. Difference in y squared. And if you're going to do this now, so the difference in y, just do substitution, it's first x, so this is going to be a negative 2, minus negative 4 plus y2 so it's 2 minus 3 and that's square and that is going to give me an answer this is negative 2 plus 4 so it's 2 square plus negative 1 square which is going to be 4 plus 1 which is going to be the square root of 5 and just leave it like that Okay, then the next one, QR. Okay, let's just make another color. QR. Okay, and now, because I already have the formula, okay, but I first I have to write down the points. Let me do that first for you. Okay, so the point Q, um, we can keep it too, but it doesn't matter. Then this is X2, Y2. And then R. What is R going to be? 0 and 1. So let's make this name X1, Y1. Does not matter. Okay, and then QR, it's going to be 
um, and, and I'm not going to write the formulas, I'm just going to do the substitution. So it's going to be negative 2 minus 0 squared plus uh, y2, 2 minus 1 squared. And that is going to give me an answer of a negative 2 squared plus 1 squared. And that's going to give me an answer of 4 plus 1 square root 5. Exactly the same. Okay, and then the next one, P or, okay, let's just get for P. My space is a bit, let's just move it here. So let's go for P. And what was P? P was negative 4. Negative 4 and 3. And what is R? And that's 0 and 1. And that is going to be, okay, we can again go for x1, y1, x2, y2. And that's going to give me an answer now of PR. Just going to move it up a little bit. P or okay, and then it's going to be the root. I'm just going to do the substitution just like x2. So x2 will be 0 minus, let's just get that correct. Uh, negative 4 okay and don't forget to square it plus uh, okay y2 so it's 1 minus 3 and square it and then my answer will be, it's just an equal sign, it's just this pen. Okay, so this will be 4 squared plus negative 16 plus 4 just the spin at the end we'll calibrate it now again plus 4 and that will give me an answer of 20 Square root 20. Okay, let's just do this final, final. Square root 20. And then the question number B, let's just go back to number B. Um, show that PQ is on a straight line. So I'm just going to do it like this. Um, if I'm just going to say PQ plus QR equals PR. Okay, so let's just see. PQ, this is number B. Uh, 
Okay, so it's P, Q, plus Q, or equals P or. So that will be, if we move it just up a little bit, I'm just struggling with this pin really now. That will be square root five plus square root five equals square root twenty. Let's just see if it's coming out. Otherwise I'm just going to rewrite it. Eh? Yes. Not so nice, but this is square root 5 plus square root 5 equals square root 20. And let's just take a calculator and check. Square root 5 plus square root 5, that's going to be 4,47. And square root 20 is also going to be 4,47. So if you look nicely, let me just show you. And therefore, so maybe, so just remember that square root 5, square root 20, let's see if we can make it a bit clear. Okay, so we're just going to say therefore, uh, PQR will be a straight line, and you can just write that. Okay, let's just see if I can, that was a 5. And that was a 20. Okay, so square root 5 plus square root 5, and the pen is just struggling, but that will be equal to square root 20. So therefore, let's just go back to the question. Okay, where? Therefore, PQR lie on a straight line. 